serious, but corruption at the highest levels in that secret society. We, 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 have, we have an informant that's talking about a, a group that were holding secret meetings off-site. Смещается, смещается. Да, да, я и говорю, что как треугольник она. You're 47. What is the likelihood that you personally will go to Mars? 70%. We've recently made a number of breakthroughs that, I, that I'm just really fired up about. And when does that happen? In our lifetimes? Yeah, yeah. I'm talking about moving now. Hey, underneath something. In our lifetimes? Yeah, yeah. I'm talking about moving now. So it's like, so if you get the price per ticket maybe around a couple hundred thousand dollars this could be an escape hatch for rich people. No. Mr. Rothschild, how you doing, sir? Can you tell us what went on at the Bilderberg meeting this year? Sorry? Can you tell us what went on at the Bilderberg meeting this year? Okay, one more quick video here. It's almost getting hard to take video because there's so many people and it was not like this earlier. But um, yeah, this is crazy. And I honestly cannot believe I'm standing here doing this. So. And on the end of the ring on the end. Can someone laser it? Is it still there? Together. Yeah, they're locked together. Oh, oh those two. Yeah, yeah they're yeah, locked yeah. together. Here, come look at this, Matthew. There's two of the innocent right there. That's a great sight. I kept getting that psychic kid. I knew something was happening. Here. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, I'm going to follow these guys around. Yeah, you want to follow them. You want to see what they're going to do. Right? See if they take off our space out. together. Was something moving in the sunlight catching on different Very angles? Cool. More than likely. That would account for what we're seeing, by the way. He says, Hi Guruji, in recent days I came across several contents about Illuminati, secret society. Who are really suppressing anything. In this, whatever you are re uh, referring to as Illuminati, and later on it transformed itself into Freemasons. So, later on it became fear Freemasonry and Freemasonry took on a powerful form. When uh, it went to United States, it Good morning, everyone. It's Angelica Duria. This is a story that is gaining national attention, and we would love to hear from you. Change that. We are talking about a uh, three square market. This is located in River Falls. This is just outside of Madison, and more than 50 employees there will be voluntarily microchipped.
Yep, I said microchips. So the company designs vending machines and workers will be able to buy stuff in the break room, uh, open doors, log into computers, and use the copy machine all by scanning their microchip. The microchip is passive, meaning it only stores information that other devices can read. It can allow users to access their homes and other establishments, work as tickets, and even transfer social media profiles. And if you're like me or you, and you're protesting what they're doing, they can just turn off your chip. And you have nothing. You can't buy food. You can't do anything. It's total control of the people. Now, to balance the scale, I'd like to talk about some things that bring us together. Things that point out our similarities instead of our differences. Because that's all you ever hear about in this country, is our differences. That's all the media and the politicians are ever talking about, the things that separate us. Things that make us different from one another. That's the way the ruling class operates in any society. They try to divide the rest of the people. They keep the lower and the middle classes fighting with each other, so that they, the rich, can run off with all the f money fairly simple thing happens to work. You know, anything different, that's what they're going to talk about. Race, religion, ethnic and national background, jobs, income, education, social status, sexuality, anything you can do, keep us fighting with each other so that they can keep going to the bank. Alexa, is Donald Trump the Antichrist? Yes, that's true. Hey Alexa, what's your favorite thing about Arizona? There's nothing better than we have haboobs. It was such a striking result that people didn't believe it when it first came out almost. Scientists had knocked out a gene called DAF2. Or you have a receptor for insulin that doesn't work as well which is like the DAF2 mutant receptor. Once the cells are in that good, taken care of state, I think the animal can just live longer. Scientists mutated the same gene in fruit flies and their lifespan nearly doubled. Going in a little can through deep space, you might land successfully. Once you land successfully, there will be a mat, you'll be working nonstop to build the base. Uh, so you're, you're not, not much time for leisure. And uh, once you get there, even after doing all this, uh, this is a very harsh environment, so there's a good chance you die there. Um, we think you can come back, but we're not sure. This professor is not a part of the zombie festivities. However, he believes his mind is not his own and that his personality has been altered, his brain manipulated by toxoplasma, the same parasite that controls rats. Both of our governments are, maintains our sovereign right to issue or deny visas to specific individuals. And I would leave it at that. At this press conference, they also talked about the Canadian government, which just announced another one of its diplomats in Cuba has fallen ill from a mysterious health incident in Havana. The latest diplomat affected first reported symptoms early in the summer. And we have to report now that that number changes from 12 to 13. Com at, um no later than 2020, we need to bend the curve of global emissions of greenhouse gases and fossil fuel burning, and we need to halt the loss of biodiversity. Now, it's not as if we fall over an escarpment and total collapse of the whole Earth system, but the challenge is that if we delay even further, we have very, very you know, small chances of being able to rapidly enough transition towards a future where we can stay within a safe operating space on the planet. So and I'm going to Mars. Going to Mars and kind of pushing that future for space exploration is critical to the survival of humans because it's already been said that a single planet species will become extinct and eventually as the solar system dies out then we would go with it. Let's go, guys.
But many people around the planet are probably already planning Christmas holidays. And while going over future planetary positions, I found a very critical configuration on December 21st, which is what you're looking at, December 21st in the afternoon, and we see Mercury, Mars and Uranus in an alignment. These three planets also lined up with the largest earthquakes on the record in 1960 and 1964, although the arrangement was a bit different. But this is not the only alignment that occurs on the 21st. Much more critical will be Earth, Mercury, Jupiter, and the Moon also opposing Mercury and Jupiter on the same day, a few hours before. Given the involvement of Mercury, with Mars and Uranus, and also here with the Earth and Jupiter. This is a very critical time frame, and I expect a large earthquake between December 21st and December 25th. We have some breaking news now. A tsunami warning has just been issued for Vanuatu and New Caledonia after a powerful 7.5 magnitude earthquake was recorded in the... On the morning of November 11th, just before 9.30 UT, a mysterious rumble rolled around the world. The seismic waves began roughly 15 miles off the shores of Mayotte, a French island sandwiched between Africa and the northern tip of Madagascar. The waves buzzed across Africa, ringing sensors in Zambia, Kenya, and Ethiopia. They traversed vast oceans, humming across Chile, New Zealand, Canada, and even Hawaii nearly 11,000 miles away. These waves didn't just zip by. They rang for more than 20 minutes, and yet, it seems, no human felt them. Only one person noticed the odd signal on the U.S. Geological Survey's real-time seismogram displays. An earthquake enthusiast who uses the handle at Matarikipak saw the curious zigzags and posted images of them to Twitter. That small action kicked off another ripple of sorts, as researchers around the world attempted to suss out the source of the waves. Was it a meteor strike? A submarine volcano eruption? An ancient sea monster rising from the deep? I don't think I've seen anything like it, says Garin Ekstrom, a seismologist at Columbia University who specializes in unusual earthquakes. I wanted to ask a question, a couple questions here about HARP, the High Frequency Active Auroral Research Program. Uh, several of you at the table have a little bit of a piece here. As you know, this is located up in Alaska. It's currently funded by the Air Force Research Lab. It was formerly funded by the Office of Naval Research. One of the prime customers is DARPA, uh, which is currently running experiments at the facility. And that um, a lot of folks here on the committee probably don't understand what HARP does. I think most Alaskans don't really know what HARP does. Yeah, thank you, Senator. The Air Force has uh, gotten great value out of HARP in the past. We, uh, we took over from the Navy and managed it and actually did a number of uh, experiment campaigns up there and uh, have finished our, our work that we're interested in doing up there. We've uh, moving on to other ways of uh, managing the ionosphere, which the HARP was really designed to do, was to inject energy into the ionosphere to be able to actually control it. It has no legitimacy and that we as a people are not afraid and we are waking up to the robber barons and the big banksters who are looting this economy with the Federal Reserve. Well, what do you, I mean, the Rothschilds family did start the Federal, you know, they divided Europe first, no, no, no. took over Europe, the Napoleon. Don't exaggerate. 